<laughs> well, welcome back, my fantastic artistic friends. Are you ready to do a big painting? Happy days. Well, I've got the old big coat on. It's it's really cold where we are today, so let's try and capture some of that coldness up on the up on the uh, old canvas. Now, this is a canvas board, a Windsor and Newton canvas board. It's primed and uh, it's been coated in liquid white, so it's all slick, ready to go. I'm going to use a few brushes, few colours. Let's get on with it and have a nice, happy, happy painting. All right, so I'm going to hit some Elise and Crimson and a little bit of the violet, just a little bit of the violet, not much, just Elise and Crimson and violet. These are Winsor & Newton's Winton oil paints. Okay, and just tap into the, uh, into the palette, just like that. That gives a nice even distribution into the into the bristles of the paintbrush and round about here about there will give a nice little little glow okay just a nice little glow just want to warm up the sky a little bit not too much don't go don't go crazy with it okay and maybe a little bit down here we'll have a nice big cool cool mountain i think cool mountain now just wipe off the excess just like that. And then I'm just gonna same dirty brush without really cleaning. Just hit some phthalo blue and some French ultramarine. That's all we need. Phthalo blue, <laughs> not easy to say, and French ultramarine. Okay, just again, just tap, 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 tap. Okay, up in the top corner, we'll just come in and swoosh in a little bit of that bluey color. Okay, and I like the, the French ultramarine mixed with a phthalo blue it gives a little bit of a, 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 a different variant to the sky, really. But if you just want to use ultramarine or just Prussian blue, phthalo blue, whatever you got to hand, you just do that. You just do that, okay? You can do anything and you don't really have to copy exactly how I do these things. You can make it your own, you see, and that's that's the beauty of this kind of this kind of artwork. We're just making it our own, okay? And then just gently go across the whole thing, up and down, left and right. You see, I've left a white spot in the sky there, and that will give um, like a again a little variant to the colour in the sky, if we so wish. Okay, now. Wipe off the excess again, don't have to clean the brush fully, and I'm going to take a tiny bit of black. Just a tiny bit of black, only a small amount, and I'm just going to darken the corners off up here. Because we've got liquid white under there as well, if we keep mixing, we'll end up with like a nice grey tone to the sky as well. So so that's, that's what we're after as well. So we've got different colours already up there. There we go. And then straight across. All right. And we'll have some, I think we'll have something down here, I don't know, maybe an icy pond, so maybe grab a oh, little stream, I don't know. Do like water, so we'll just put a bit of blue in there. And if it's, uh, if it doesn't go too well, it can always be shadows. Okay, blue is a very good shadowy colour, I suppose. All right, just take it off to the edge. Just really get firm with it. So we've got blues and greys there, just like that okay like so all right let's put a cloud in with that so let's take a fan brush let's take a big one of my favorite this big old thing okay i've used it several years now <laughs> probably had four inch bristles on when i started but uh <laughs> anyhow right so up here where this light spot is all right just curling swirling just really Jiggle, 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 jiggle. Okay, just jiggle like this. All right. Maybe a bit more. Just there. Just really let the, the paintbrush dance about. And it does work if you have a smaller brush or if you've got a bigger brush. It doesn't it doesn't really matter. Those those fan brushes can sneak into anywhere. Now, this is a little goat hair brush. I used to call it a pony hair brush, but I was wrong. Someone told me I was wrong. So... So if they tell you you're wrong, you're wrong, boy, you know? <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna swirl the base of this up and then just tease, 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 till just it goes into the painting, just settles away into nothing. Okay, just like that. Just blend it into the blue up there. So delicate, so delicate. 
Okay. Grab some more light. Wow, it is cold. It is cold. I've got to act quick. I just end up getting frozen fingers, and we don't want that. I certainly don't want that. Really painful, you know. Okay, so I'm just tickling another little bit of white in there. All right, just down there like so. See, mountains seem to be very, very popular with everybody that's painting them nowadays. And 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 I was mesmerised by Bob Ross when, when I was a boy, watching him paint. So why not paint some more? That's, that's what it's all about, yeah? Doing what makes you happy. And if it makes you happy, keep doing it. Okay, don't change for anybody. All right, so there, we've got another little little cloud breaks that big 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 cloudy area up right let's get some black okay and maybe a tiny bit of brown black and brown okay we're gonna put a mountain in okay so let's put the little bit of a mountain there i love mountains okay we'll just scrape that in just like that all right don't go too jaggedy don't go unless you want to go too jaggedy. You know, I'll, who am I to tell you? All right, so just talking to myself. All right, so don't go too symmetrical, should I say. So, so just push that into the fabric. Push that little mountain into the fabric. Just there like that. Let's grab, excuse me, I'm turning me back to you. I don't mean to. Should have got all the brushes out. Okay, it's been a while since I've painted, though you will not know that. Hey there, found the face last time, I think. Okay, so um, we'll just grab, what am I talking about? You don't have to be mental or mad to be a uh, an artist, but it helps, it helps. Okay, and just pull that out there, like so, and then just tease that in, tease that in there, like so. Okay, blend that into the, into the nothing, into the sky. So it's sat there. And that purple, that pink, will show through. Okay, just blend that out. Blend it out. Okay, now we can put some highlights on this thing. Okay, I'm going to grab the small knife because that seems to be a little bit, uh, a little bit more sneaky. Okay, so get some titanium white right on the edge of the knife, and on this one we'll just drop in a little bit of highlight just there, like so. And then we'll do the same on this one, maybe that, down like so. You want the paint to break, that's what you need it to do. Just let the paint jiggle and break as it comes around, just there like that. Blend it out into nothing. Okay, wipe the knife, grab a little bit of that ultramarine, maybe not that much. <laughs> Okay, just grab some of that ultramarine so we get a nice bluey colour. I want it not as blue, oh, sorry, not as uh, not as pale as the sky, but uh, obviously not as uh, distinct, that it, that it looks unsightly, if that makes sense. But this ultramarine works well. And then just put some, some shadows in there. Drop them in, just drop them in, anywhere you want them to be. That's exactly where we should put them. Okay, and then we can come back in a moment and just tinker with these highlights. Now we know where his shadows are going to be. Just there, like that. let's take it down. Clean off the old knife. Grab some more white. Little roll of paint to white and we can come up here and just really tickle that edge up. There, just jumps out at you, yeah? Just jumps out. Yeah, maybe it goes a little bit. You don't want too much, just there, like so. There, that's a nice little mountain. We'll blend it away in a moment. We'll blend it away. Maybe make that a little bit stronger, this one. Because it's there. Maybe it's deeper in the shadow, that part. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Okay clean dry brush and I'm just going to tap the base of this so it's going to take that white paint some of that black paint really just tinker tap 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 you can hear how hard I'm actually hitting the canvas now 
just blend it into into the canvas just there like so and just take out the tap marks like so so there we've got one mounting knock off the excess paint send everything everywhere let's paint another one in front of that so again a bit of this brown a bit of this black maybe even touch of crimson just to just to tickle it up a little bit okay and again these are Windsor and Newton's oil paints but if you get any oil paints that you like to work with you just do that okay um but make sure they're firm they need to be firm for this technique look i'm holding the palette up right like that and i could stay like that for ages and they'll not move they'll not move right wow that's come down that's pretty sharp drop yeah the old mountain goat better watch you step on that one and that's down in front of this big old mountain there scraping Really get in there, and maybe it comes out there as well. Big jagged rock, and down some more. We just want a basic indication of where where this mountain's going to be. We're going to separate it all with with highlights and shadows and other bits and pieces as we as we go along. Maybe go on then. Go on then. Why not? We'll we'll encase this mountain in by just putting a little. A little bit of something there, and I'm bringing it down. I'm bringing it down. Excuse the hand. There, like so. There, like that. Wipe off all the excess paint on your knife. Okay. And then let's get in here and just grab, grab and pull. Really get firm. Really get firm. You want to remove as much of that excess paint as you possibly can. Okay, a lot of it will still remain within the canvas, within the fibre. There, just teeter that out. Maybe there's a, I don't know, no, what do they call it? What do they call them? Glaciers. That's it. I shouldn't know what one is. My sister-in-law's from Norway and tells me about them all the time, so I should know what a glacier is. I think there's a glacier outside as well. It's, it's the, the old pond's freezing over. Okay, maybe it's just me being a little bit soft. Okay, so we've covered nearly mainly all that pink up, but you can still see elements of it underneath some of this mountain colour. Okay, just blend that out, blend that out. And of course, I'm going to take some of this dark and just bring it down there. Just for a little bit of shadow. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. Now, I'm going to wash the brush. Odorless paint thinner. Odorless paint thinner. Shake off the excess. <laughs> really give it a rattle. Really give it a rattle. Okay, let's get the knife. Let's get the knife and I'm going to make some, some rocky colours up there to start with. So I'm going to take brown, which is Van Dyke brown, burnt sienna as well, and a bit of white, just a touch of white. Okay, I'm going to make a nice dark stony colour. And I'm just going to put a little bit of stony effect on here. You might not be able to pick that up just yet. I might have to make it a little bit lighter. Just a stony effect on there. Just like that. Maybe this part of the mountain's got a little bit more sun than, than the one behind it, the mountain behind it. There, like so. Just really get in there. Put a little bit, or maybe on this side as well. There, like so. So we've got a bit of dark stone, a bit of browny stony colour just underneath that. Now I'm going to add some of that light blue to that stony colour. So that's just white and blue and browns. Okay, not over mix, just, just loosely over mix. Okay, and just on top of this, just, just ever so grey, just graze a little bit, graze a bit, graze a bit. There, there. pick up some of these highlight spots. Build up paint, 
build up that paint there like that and a bit there as well just off the canvas that one's going off the canvas right wipe off <laughs> get rid of some of these paint brushes that are all over the place wipe off the excess now we need a shadow color for that so i'm going to take some why not we're going to purple we're going to blue and we'll get a tiny bit of white okay just a bit of purple this is violet it's got a funny name that begins with d and i can never pronounce it but we know what it is maybe a bit of blizz and crimson in that as well so just gives it a bit more of a bit more there a bit of blue we're getting there we're getting there we're getting there okay cut off our little roll of paint and maybe on this side we'll just have a tiny touch tiny touch okay looks a little bit different from the there maybe that comes down there like so maybe that sneaks in this beautiful color purple I want it different from the shadow of the snow, you see. That's why we've gone for the purpley colour. Because there's a ready tone to that brown, you see. I know you might think, hmm, that's not right. But trust me, trust me. <laughs> if I get it wrong, you won't see this video. <laughs> that's the power we have, isn't it? Good old YouTube, good old YouTube. No, no, we'll pull them up. Whether you like them or not, whether they make mistakes, whether they're good or not, they'll all go up. I ain't got time to keep making them. <laughs> I've got two channels, by the way. I keep saying that to my coin collecting friends. Okay, so we've got a little bit of brown there. Okay, let's go into some more of that original brownie colour with white. Just to, like we did on the other one, on this one. We are affirm the edges on some of these just there like that like that look at that like snake mountain is it snake mountain off of he-man yeah, like so he-man yeah who remembers he-man big big fan of he-man back in the day of course i like skeletor uh, you wanted me to laugh like him now aren't you well i can't <laughs> right there we go so we're getting somewhere now we need to put some we need to put some uh, some snow on this we need to put some snow so clean the knife make sure it is clean I don't want to be taking one thing worse than yellow snow and that's brown snow okay so make sure your knife's nice and clean get some white paint and just down here, again, we'll just put some snow down there. Let it pick up some of that colour, some of that under colour if we can. Just play, just play. There, like so. And maybe a bit more will sneak in there. Look at that. That's a big old snow bank. Yeah, they're wonderful colours, wonderful colours. Just the difference of that colour has changed the whole painting, right? The difference of that colour has changed the whole painting. And we'll come back in here. There. Maybe it comes across like so. Like that. Let's get some shadowy colour. Let's need to clean off a space to work. Get rid of that. Get some white, get some blue. Okay, if it gets a bit of that purple in, who cares? We'll put a bit of that blue. Is it too strong or is it not strong enough? We don't know yet, do we? We don't know. We need to put it on. We need to put it on, man. If we get streaks of blue in there, that's all right. Nice dark shadow colour so it's looking like this part's in shadow okay really plow it on yeah mountains are some of the most mesmerizing things to paint really good 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 subject matter 
I've just got to keep loading your knife full of paint. Snake Pass, yeah? Is that what they call it? Snake Mountain? Snake Castle Grey School? I don't know. And just keep allowing that to go. Just like that. Grab a bit more of the white. Sneak it in. Tease these two colours together. There. Like so. How are we doing? How are we doing there? <laughs> Does it look all right from where you're stood? I'm slightly at an angle, so I can't really see how it's looking, but it's not looking too bad to me. It could be a completely disaster from where you're stood, like, but we don't know. We just keep adding more paint. Adding more paint there. Really thick. Really thick. Plow it on. Maybe even grab a little bit of the shadow colour of these paints. Sneak it in there like that, yeah. Look at that blue, shadowy blue, just there. Nice sharp drop off there, again. Wipe the knife off, let's grab some more paint. Ooh. Gently, gently, gently does it. Gently, gently, gently does it, just like that. Well, we didn't think we were going <laughs> to, well, I certainly didn't think I was going to paint a mountain like this, but not today anyway. Uh, just tease those together. Tease, 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 tease. There, like that. And I think we're going to have a little, a little bit of water down here. So we want a foothill, don't we? We'll, we want something there, maybe. Sneaking some more snow on this side, just there like that. Wherever we want it, there. Just break that line up. Like so. Right. Now. Come on down. What's it been? 20 minutes? Half an hour so far? I don't know. Clean, dry brush. Okay. Pick a bit of white up as well. I'm just going to tap the base of this. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, tap, tap, tap. And let's, let's start by merging all these together. Just like so. Just maybe grab a bit more white. Bit more white there. So we're going to put some, some little footles there. Footles, is that a word? You know what I'm talking about. So let me grab the blender brush again. I like that one. It's not as strong. It doesn't distort as much. It doesn't distort. But we can just pull shape. There, like that. There. There we go. Right. Now we've got a big old, big old mountain and a little bit of a pass there. Okay. Right. Let's put some, let's put some foliage down there. What shall we have? What colour shall we get? Okay, let's take some white. Let's go into those blues again. And maybe a bit of that, a bit of that purpley colour. Let's see how this looks. If it looks terrible, we'll change it. We can do that, you see. We can do that. Okay, so we'll just tap there. Just come across. Go across, all the way up. Where we're going, who knows? Maybe change the value, the flavour. Maybe add a different colour in there. Maybe get a bit more of the lizard and crimson. They look like little tree tops, don't they? Far away. Oh, I've got some blue on that one. Uh, like so. Just alternate, alternate between colours. Get too much of one colour, take it off. Start again. Look at that. Nice little blue. In the blue cool side. In the blue cool side. And just keep going, keep going. Of course, you don't have to use these colours. If you don't want these colours in your painting, you can do that. You can do whatever you want. Let's grab a little bit 
we go. Bit of black. Darken it off some more, just down there like so. Like that. So we've got lots of different, lots of different things going on there. All the way along, just fill that up. Fill that watery area up as well, because we can paint on top of this. Maybe grab a bit more of that purple. This rounded brush does absolutely amazing things. You just gotta learn to make friends with it. It really does. Right, I'm gonna put that down. I'm gonna grab a clean dry. <laughs> it says a clean dry two inch. I'm just gonna go across here and just tap. I think the water's gonna be there. Right, so I think this is gonna be a little peninsula that's gonna be in front of this lot. Didn't know that to start with, but we do now. Okay, so I'm just gonna tap, mist that up. Okay, just mist that up there, like so. Go back to the original brush with the paints on, with the colours on, and I'm just gonna pull some of this down. Just pull it down, straight down. It's got all those different colours on. All those different colours on. Like that there. I don't know what we're gonna have here, but we may have a tree, we may not. We don't know yet. The timing may run out of the electricity meter. That's why I've got to be quick, you know. <laughs> you think I'm kidding, boy. <laughs> okay, so let's just... Come on, come on, get serious. Serious artist here at work. Okay, so we're just going to be in there like that and just, just sneak in some more... some more little... Uh, evergreeny... things, I don't even know. Tree things. Tree shapes, we'll go for tree shapes. Pick up some blue, some really strong blue there. Like that, really just tap them in. So we've got all kinds of different colors. I love it, I love it, I love it. Didn't know about this until about five minutes ago. Didn't know what color we were gonna use. Pull some of this straight down, straight down. There, like that. And then on this side as well, there. And then just gently across, very gently, hardly any touch, hardly any touch. That will give that nice indication of some watery effects. I'm just going to go into some white now. And I'm going to tap on top of this one some paler colours. So if we get some white, some pale blue, da -da 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 -da, down there, like that. Fill that bit in. Tap, tap, tap. Go back to your blues. There. Like so. Right, set that brush down. Let's pull this down again. Just straighten that off. And just gently across there. There. All right, liquid white. So get your palette knife into where your liquid light, uh, liquid light, liquid white lives. Okay, put that down. I should have another space. We'll put it there. Let's clean off some of this. And then let's get liquid white, put it there. Wipe off the excess. Boy, I make a mess. And then just in here, parallel to the edge, to the base of the canvas, parallel there. And we're going to sneak this, this little watery line in just there, like so. And it sets it all off. It separates the lights, separates the dark, should I say. There. And even if we're going round a corner, keep your knife as straight as you can to the base of the canvas. It's vital you do that, as you'll end up putting a water line on like that and it'll look like phew, your water's gonna run straight off the edge of the painting and we don't want that. You don't want that. So there we go, a little bit of a water line. And then same on this side, we'll come in there, put in a water line. And there, oh, that looks like a frozen pond there. That does look like a frozen part of the pond. There, like so. So there is our little watery lines. Let's put some more out here. It's got a bit of that purple in from where I put it on the on the uh, on the palette. That's all right. That's all right. Now we need to work on this side. All right. So um, let's go back to this rounded brush and let's take let's take some black. Let's get into the browns as well. Crimson, purples, blues, violets, whatever we've got going. Excuse me, it's getting cold. <laughs> we'll just tap in some of this colour there. 
All right, just tap in some of this colour, just like that. Grab a bit more of that crimson. Oh, look at that, yeah. Up we come, up we come, there. Right, well, right there. <laughs> Making all kinds of noises as I'm doing this, folks. It's too cold to talk, yeah? Too cold to talk. Just like that. All right. So, do we want a big tree, little tree, or just a little tiny? Who knows? Who knows? What I am going to do is I'm going to tap this till there's nothing there. Just blend that back. Just like that. Just blend it back. Okay, let's grab a fan brush. Let's take some of that violet colour and then just, just put a few in there like so. Maybe a bit more of that blue. Yeah, like that. Works on that for me. Works on that for me. Let's put some of these grasses in there as well. So you don't have to paint much. You don't have to paint much at all. Just what you paint is just, just right. Leave it just right. Look at that. By turning the brush sideways on, We've got some grasses that are focusing inwards on itself. And if they're not sticking, add a tiny bit of paint thinner or liquid clear. Or if you want to brighten them up, a bit of liquid white. Okay, so just like that. There we go, some grasses. Just there like so, or plants or whatever we call them. We'll put a couple in there. A bit more there. Vary the colours, I'm going to go into that purple now. Vary the colours, there, like so. There, like that. Okay, maybe. There, I think that looks all right. Okay, we want something here, don't we? We want something there, so what shall we have there? Ooh, tree. It's gonna have to be a tree, isn't it? To case that in, push everything back. You know it, you know it. Okay, so let's grab some uh, purple, a liz and crimson. Let's grab a bit of brown as well. Some of these crazy colours that we're going. Okay, plenty on the brush. Grab some black as well. Maybe a touch of the liquid clear just to make it a bit more thinner. And then I'm going to take one side through some of that liquid white. Just that, that's there. Okay, and then just let's see what we make. And we'll just come down. And you can see we've got a bit of a highlight and a shadow. Let's take it all the way down. A bit of a highlight and a shadow all in one go. So again, a bit more black. And down we come. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there, folks. So just Bring that down, bend that out. This looks like a bit like an oil uh, watercolor down here. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a little bit of a tree trunk there. Okay, let's go into some of this thinner white paint and just gently just tickle the side, just where the highlights will be uh, there, like so. Maybe a bit more. Here and there, and there and here, there like that, like that, that. There, nice and calm, nice and gentle. Got a bit of blue, let's put a bit of blue in with that. Maybe go on this side, just for reflected light. Not much, not much, don't have to go crazy. Unless you wanna go crazy. I like going crazy, but that's just my preference. Okay, swirl the brush off. Now we want to put some leaves on this thing, don't we? Let's put some leaves on that. So, in fact, let's wash the old half round brush, and we can use that to put some leaves on. Okay, so again, get rid of all the excess paint in there. Knock off the excess paint in there. Give it a rattle. Make sure it is dry. Okay, tap it on some paper towel if we wish. Now then. 
where we're going to put some leaves. Don't want to cover the mountain. All right. So let's go. Let's let's clear off a bit of a space. Let's clear off a bit of a space. Get rid of some of this. Okay. Um, let's take that purple again. I think we've got that going through the old painting now, haven't we? Didn't mean to mean it to be. We wanted a nice dark colour, <laughs> a dark cold painting, but we soon warmed up. And I'm going to grab some phthalo blue in with that as well, maybe a bit of black. So we've got violet, black, and blue. Okay, and I'm going to go up here and I'm going to touch upwards. So watch, I'm just going to touch upwards like this. Now a fan brush will work well as well if you want it to do. You want it to do that. So just like that, just touch upwards, just like that. And we'll go a bit more. Don't want much, don't want much on this tree. If some get carried away, look like a big lollipop up here. Maybe a bit down there as well. There we go. All right. Uh, is it gonna come there as well? Yeah, we don't want it to, but it did, it did. All right. Get rid of some of that paint there. Now, wipe off the excess, and then go into some white, see what colour we get. Mm, I want it a bit more, a bit more than that, so let's wash the brush one more time, shake it off, beat it up, beat it up, and then let's get, in fact, I'm going to get a little bit of liquid white, liquid white, and we'll grab some of that purple, pop it in there, maybe a bit of the crimson. Be a bit more of the liquid white, make it a bit thinner, you see, thinner and whiter. So we've got a nice, nice looking purpley colour, okay, and I'm just going to touch that on there, just here and there, just there and here, I can hardly tell, so subtle so there, there, and there, I hope we can tell they're on there, they are very gentle, don't want much, don't want much at all. Don't want to distract. Don't want to take away from the main part. Let's see, I picked a bit of a Liz and Crimson there. Maybe we'll put a, a couple of li Liz and Crimson looking leaves up here as well. Just like that. Okay. Let's tap some greenery down here. What's well, not green, is it? It's <laughs> It is um, it's purples, blues. There we go. There we go. How do you think we've done? Have we done all right? Let me put a paler one in there. Just to break this up. A couple of pale looking uh, bushes. Where the snow has started to, to creep in. Just down there like that. Okay, right, I'm going to sign this one. I think we've uh, dragged dragged on a little too much, so I'm going to get some paint thinner. Okay, I'm going to get some bright red. And right in this corner, I'm just going to squiggle my name, just like that. But if you've enjoyed this one, or you give it a go, please get in contact. Um, what you should do, or what you can do, or if you want to do, is, is give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a nice big comment. If you do do this painting, send it to me. The links are down in the description. And, uh, and subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so. And until next time, take care of yourself. Stay safe. Happy days.